Alright my friends, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today, well, I am a rugby player. I'm currently playing rugby for a, a, a team called Littleton. But uh, we're not reacting to American football, which is where probably a lot of you guys have come to this channel through. We're actually reacting to running and uh, out and out speed. Um, there's nothing like it, you know, doesn't matter what sport you're playing. Um, well, I could be up at 2 in the morning as a 5-year-old watching the Olympic Games before school. It doesn't matter what it is. Speed is king. Speed is, is incredible. It's fantastic to watch. And um, there's nothing like the 100 meter dash, is there? There really isn't. And with that in mind, there's one name that keeps getting thrown around. There's one name, a teenager's name, that I've heard for probably the last year or so. But I haven't recently. But there is one video that came up across my news feed probably about a month ago. And I thought, you know what? The one time that I actually do delve deep and find out about this guy, this is going to be the video that we watch. And it's called The Truth About Matthew Bowling, The Next Great Olympic Sprinter. And with that being said, if he does become the next great Olympic sprinter, I've... Well, I've got a duty to check him out before that happens. Because at the end of the day, when you type in Rugby Player Reacts to Matt Bowling, this video will come out. Type it in in 10 years time, this video is still going to come out. So it has to be done. Anyways! The truth about Matthew Bowling, the next great Olympic sprinter. Let's get into it. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. The morning. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like I'm forming, like forming. Uh, and my forming jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane. I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me. This is Matthew Bowling. Many see him as the future of American sprinting, and it's easy to see why. In 2019, he had one of the greatest track and field campaigns in history, as he maintained an undefeated season over multiple disciplines, and he became the first high school athlete to ever run under 10 seconds for the 100 meter dash. In addition to his sprinting dominance, he also achieved great success in the long jump, with one jump in particular going just over 8 meters in length. This was the furthest high school long jump in over a decade. Hang on. I know he's probably going to tell me this, but uh, 2016 long jump medals. Oh. My. God. Okay. He jumped 8.01. In the 2016 Olympics, there's two rounds and the two automatic qualifiers were the round winners. The winners of those two rounds jumped 8.20 and 8.24. All right, we've got a top, f okay, so, all right, yep, yeah. mm-hmm, shit. We've got a couple of personal bests here, but basically, basically, if you're jumping over eight meters, you're at the Olympic level. There was 8.18, 8.16, 8.20, 8.19, and then the final round on his last attempt, Henderson won it with an 8.38. And with that being said, let's get back to Matt Bowling. And it only further displayed Bowling's unbelievable athletic capabilities. This versatility is what makes Bowling so compelling, because even though he's certainly one of the most exciting and promising oh, sprinters in the Let's watch that again. Compelling, because even though he's certainly one of the most... Fuck. I should watch this. Look at the ang- okay, this guy runs a 10 second- runs a 9.9 .9 second hundred, okay? He's 18 years old. Or 19. Wonder how tall he is. Look at this, man, look at this shit. Exciting and promising young sprinters in the world. His raw athleticism is certainly the absolute elite of the elite. To the surprise of no one, Bowen was awarded the National Gatorade Track and Field Athlete of the Year for his senior year of high school, signifying once again that he was on another level for track and field excellence. So he won that. He won the National High School Athlete of the Year and then goes and breaks all these records his next year at college. I mean, okay, what about, what about this year? <laughs> Is he going to run a 9.8? Is he going to do 100, 204 plus long jump? Is he going to be the next Usain Bolt? After his high school graduation, he continued his quest for track and field dominance, and just like he did throughout his entire senior year, he made winning seem almost inevitable. Looks as if, yeah, his stride is, is pretty damn long, and it looks as if, just like 
our old mate Usain Bolt, once he gets to that top speed, about halfway down the track, once he gets to that top, in that top gear, that's when the, uh, the distance starts increasing. Um, anyway. In June of 2019... Actually, I need to know just one thing, one thing, one thing. He is 20, he's only just turned 20, he's 6 foot tall, 183 centimetres. He competed at the United States Under-20 Championships, which brings out many of the nation's most promising young athletes, Lean. both in high school and in college. Although he was still only 18 years old at the time, he won both the 100 and the 200 meters, and he won both of Look them at him stride out, man. Oh, oh, oh. Don't know if that was easy. He ran a time of 10.15 seconds, which put him a full stride length ahead of his closest competitor. In the 200 meters, he was once again unstoppable, as he won the race by over two tenths of a second. This was certainly an exciting and dominant oh, start man. to his summer. However, Matthew Bowling was just getting started. Well, all right, the under 20 Pan American Championships, he was once again poised to run some of his fastest times ever. And although this was his first real test on the international scene, his racing exploits left many in complete shock. In the 100 meters, the 200 meters, the 4x1, and the 4x4 he stays low, meter he? relay, he's he long, man. Four gold medals, and in both of his relay races, he broke the under 20 world records with incredible times of 38.62 seconds for the 4x1 and a time of 2 minutes 59.30 seconds for the 4x4. He also managed to improve on his personal bests in both the 100 and the 200 meters, running times of 10.11 for the 100 and 20.31 for the 200 meters. This was yet another moment of surreal success, as he now defeated not just the best competition in his country, but in the entire world. It's almost as if, you know, it's expected, but you don't expect it because someone just can't dominate like this, you know what I mean? Or at the very least, You'd expect him to like stumble a couple of times or maybe have a bad start or even a false start. Just seems like, you know, he's so clinical. Everything is just going perfectly. Um, I wonder who his coach is. Heading into college, he enrolled at the University of Georgia where he was expected to continue in both sprinting and in jumping. And just like his senior year of high school, he was still a true running celebrity. At the start of the season, he appeared in a video with the University of Georgia football team where he raced against a fellow football player in a relay race. And just like many previous races, he managed to defeat this athlete like it was nothing. <laughs> How good. As the year progressed, he maintained an almost untouchable athletic profile, as his elite training was documented in multiple outlets throughout his first semester. Right, I've got to look how many followers this guy's got. It's got to be a million, right? First year in college, right? And if it's not, if it's not over a million, I'll be surprised. Let's see. Huh, 168,000. Well, you've got a follow in me, mate. Finally, as the 2020 track and field season began, Bowling's hopes were aimed at the 2020 Olympic trials, where just... Oh, man. I just saw, I just saw a news report today saying that the Tokyo Olympics, which has been postponed, thankfully not cancelled, is a year away exactly today. And so, today being the 23rd, of July that means yeah apparently on the 23rd of July 2021 fingers crossed all going well uh, this fella Matthew Bowling may just be at his first Olympic Games of many hopefully and I tell you what I'll be watching like a fucking hawk that's gonna be the story of the Olympics you know Usain Bolt he's done unfortunately God I loved watching him 04 even 04 04 08 12 and 16 what a dynasty what an absolute legend and um, seems like, well, the world is this guy's oyster. He could make the Olympic team as a freshman in college. Unfortunately, after an unprecedented turn of events, the entire world suspended all track races, leaving Bowling with many unanswered questions. Hmm. Although his season unfortunately got cut very short, we did have the opportunity to see Bowling compete during the like He's going season. hard, isn't he? And the truth of these performances is absolutely stunning. That is, yeah, he's running extremely hard. That is, uh, that is talent plus, you know, working hard, um, which, which in the end creates something extremely special. On January 12th of 2020, Bowling ran his collegiate debut at Clemson University in the 60-meter dash. 
in his very first collegiate finals performance. Look at that, bro. He's behind. He is behind. His stride is insane. He's literally got the same stride as Bolt. It just takes him a few strides to get up to speed, but once he sort of stands up, I mean, it's it's game over. 2020, Bowling ran his collegiate debut at Clemson. He really Bowling. does, mate. You say, you guys know, right? Usain Bolt, as he came out, he really had this like this fucking big movement to get up to top speed, and then it's like boom. He has the exact same movement. It's like it's really trying to like power through those first two steps, first three or four steps. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, but I. Fuck, I recognize that that technique. Big time. Big dash. time. He's not as tall. In his very first collegiate finals performance, he ran a time of 6.68 seconds for the 60 meter dash, putting him third Fuck, on he the came back well, didn't he? time list at the University of Georgia. And that's what it looked like. This was actually quite remarkable. Six, six, eight. Especially given that he was still a true freshman and he was only 19 years old. Additionally, Bowling typically takes a few strides to get into his racing, but somehow he still managed to run a very respectable time in this rep. Exactly the same as Bolt. If he gets a good start and he's within a couple of feet of those first guys after like 10, 15 meters, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Say no more. Another short racing distance. This performance was indeed a powerful start to his collegiate career, and true greatness was definitely just around the corner for bowling. Just one month later, on February 15th, he once again proved that he was a formidable opponent for all competition. At the Tyson Invitational in Fayetteville, Arkansas, bowling set out to race the 200 meters. Based on his previous performances, expectations were quite high, but once again, bowling did not disappoint. In the finals, he ran a superior time of 20.66 seconds, which was easily a new school record at the University of Georgia. Then, once again, just two weeks later, he ran another great race at the SEC Championships, where he placed second overall with a time of 20.71 seconds. Nice. All of these performances were certainly fantastic, but there is another reason why each of these races were even more incredible than most realize. I actually have no idea what he's about to say. Unlike many other athletes, Bolin had a specific goal for 2020, and that was to reach his best fitness in the summer, as the Olympic trials were originally slated for June of 2020. Mm. This means that for his early performances during his collegiate career, he was just beginning to show his true fitness, and out of nowhere, Look at the that. season was cut Look short. Look at that, bro. That is a machine, I can only man. Imagine what his 2020 Beautiful. campaign would have looked like if everything would have gone normally. However, given that the Olympic trials are now scheduled for 2021, this one-year postponement could very well make bowling one of the biggest threats in both the 100 and the 200. Oh hell yeah! What did I just say before? I'm going to be watching him like a hawk. He's going to be in the Olympics. All going well. Another year of training, mate. I've really got no words as to the potential of this fella. 100 meters, and who knows, maybe even the long jump. With his current personal bests, it would be quite challenging for Bowling to make the Olympic team. In both the 100 and the 200, he will almost certainly need to run under 10 seconds and under 20 seconds in order to make the team. Interesting point, because a guy called Carlin Isles, who's a rugby player, plays for the USA Eagles, um, he's actually come out this year and he's, he's, he's training hard to make the Olympic team. To possibly be the first athlete to participate at an Olympics, doesn't matter if you win or not, to participate in both the 100 meter dash and the rugby sevens. And if he does that, that's going to be one of the most incredible things I've ever seen happen. He's putting the plans in place at the moment, he's training fucking hard, and he's got a goal in mind. And this just reminded me of it, which is sub 10, so under 10 seconds. He thinks, right, if I can get a clocked 10 second hundred, I've got a good shot at making that team. And now, as we saw, he's got, he's got another 12 months to get it done. And, uh, you know, I'm backing both of them. I'm backing Carla Niles and Matt Bowling to be both a part of the USA sprint team at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics.
and although he was already beginning to show some improvements, achieving these times against the nation's greatest competition by June of 2020 would have been a monumental task for bowling. Since the start of the pandemic shutdown, he has posted a few times on social media, broadcasting multiple clips showcasing his amazing fitness. On March 18th, he showed his raw strength while lifting weights. On March 5th, he showed the more technical side of his 100 meter start as he posted this slow motion side view video. And I love that. Recently on May 8th, he showcased his incredible abilities in the long jump. Holy shit. He somehow managed to jump over 80 what? cups in the what? long jump pit. Now, I did some research here. Each plastic cup is typically 9.5 centimeters in diameter at the top. And if 80 of these cups are placed directly in a line, that would yield a total distance of 7.6 meters, or just under 25 feet. However, it's also very likely that there's just a little bit of space between each cup, which would probably make this jump closer to 7.70 meters, as opposed to 7.6. Well, we've heard his PB is actually over 8 meters, right? So that's, yeah, definitely feasible. Either way, Bowling's red solo cup jump was a very unique way to look at how he soars through the air. And although competition is still postponed, it's great to see that Bowling is finding unique ways to stay fit and motivated. Moving oh my on god, bro, this guy, holy shit, if he's not motivated now, who, when will he be, you know, he's got, oh, all he needs to wait for is the will to, well, to open back up again, and fuck, he's raring to go, he's right there, oh, mate, definitely going to be following this guy. Bowling's chances of making the Olympic team in 2021 are certainly higher than they would have been in 2020, and as we previously stated, He'll almost certainly need to be under 10 seconds for the 100 meters, and under 20 or perhaps right around 20 seconds for the 200. In 2016 at the Olympic Trials, both sprinting events were very much reflecting this reality. Oh, and let me, sorry, I wasn't listening. What? Perhaps right around 20 seconds for the 200. In 2016 at the Olympic Trials, both sprinting events were very much reflecting this reality. Olympic Trials? Wow. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm not sure what the qualifying time was, but it, yeah, it's definitely around that 20 second and 10 second mark, isn't it? Which uh, is the absolute and utter elite. It's reality. And in other Olympic trials, we saw a very similar situation with runners achieving times of just under 10 seconds for the 100 and either under 20 or right at 20 seconds for the 200 meters. Indeed, qualification will be a big challenge for bowling but it certainly is more possible with the postponement. Bro, he's just turned 20. He turned 20 one month ago. I do believe he had a decent chance of making the Olympic team for 2020, but if he could continue to improve... Oh, mate, look at that shit. ...incredible athleticism, Matthew Bowling very well might become an Olympian in 2021. Hope so, man. Fingers crossed. Now I pass the question off to you. Will Bowling make the Olympic team in 2021? And what event will be his specialty? Will he qualify in the 100 meters, where he has a personal best of 10.11 seconds? Will he make the team in the 200 <laughs> meters, where he has a personal best of 20.31 seconds? Or will he become an Olympian in another event, such as the 400 meters or the long jump, where he has excellent personal bests as well? Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts on how you believe Matthew Bowling will qualify for the Olympic Games. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time. Wow. Matthew Bowling, what an exciting prospect. What an exciting career he's had already. Um, I do, and to, to answer that question, mate, I do believe he will make the team. And I do believe that Carl and I was going to make the team. And with that being said, I believe both athletes will be in one event, one track event, and it'll be the 100 meters. I feel like, I feel like he's, I feel like, yeah, I think 100 meters. Yep. Long jump? Well, he's up there. Depends. Honestly, I think, uh, let, well, let's, let's forget about Carl and I was, we're not talking about him right now. But uh, Matthew Bowling, I believe, will put his name forward for all four events, plus a 100 meter relay. Um, possibly a 400 meter relay so that's what's that five six events and uh, we'll just have to see where the cookie crumbles I think with another year of training I think um, it looks like he's got the determination I'd love to know who his coach is 
But yeah, with, uh, with all that being said, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It wasn't your, your usual topic, but it's definitely a topic that excites me. And come Summer Olympics time, this time next year, we're all going to be talking about this guy. And you know it. So with that being said, I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you're kicking goals out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, my friends.